Ah, you smell that? <sighs> yeah. Take it all in. Fall is here. What does that smell like? Pumpkin spice. Don't say pumpkin spice because pumpkin spice is over. Ooh. That's right. The underdog is coming back to take away the crown. <laughs> oh, let's try that. That's right, folks. It's cinnamon time. It's okay. cinnamon season. Cinnamon season. Get that, not, get that get pumpkin, that pumpkin spice, spice crap out of here. That's over. Yeah, when I was growing up, it was nothing but cinnamon. Cinnamon everywhere. Cinnamon all over the place. Cinnamon for cinnamon no reason. Cinnamon nutmeg. Cinnamon. Cinnamon can be sweet. It can be spicy. I don't know how. It's yeah, spicy, it is. But it somehow it's does it. It's extremely spicy. It is a multifaceted seasoning. A spice. Spice. I gotta say. Oh, it is called spice. Yeah. Interesting. Yeah, it's kind of like the wasabi, right? Like it's kind of got its own heat yeah, in it. Yeah. It's kind of yeah. wild. So what is what? I don't know, but we're here to find out if cinnamon belongs in some of our treasured treats today. Mm -hmm. We're gonna taste test a bunch of different cinnamon things and we're gonna decide if it should belong in it. Well, we get rid of that cinnamon. Okay, let's not go overboard here, people. Let's not go overboard. You don't gotta put it on everything. But the nice thing is we got most of this stuff from one of our dear friends through the mail. Huge thanks to Pale, er, Pale. Pale? <laughs> Pale Pale Gallagrino. Pale Gallagrino. <laughs> Thank you, Pale Gallagrino. That is not your no, name. No, her name is Gail Pellegrino. That's right. She's a teacher and she just loves cinnamon so much. She was like, would you guys mind if I sent you a cinnamon flavored box? Okay. We did add a few items that we thought was needed for this to kind of complete the ensemble, but mm -hmm. it was was all her idea, so huge thanks to Gail. All right, we're gonna start this shindig off with the classic of all classic cinnamons, mm. the cinnamon bun. Ooh, cinnamon That's bun? That's the best way to kick it off. Let's, Let's do it. The Cinnabon Cinnabon The bun? Cinnamon bun of the Cinnabons. The Cinnabon. Cinnamon bun. Wish I had Cinnabons. Cinnabon. <laughs> Round one! Oh my! <laughs> Round one! Look at that. Oh, we need to show them. Oh. I'm sorry. You just Hurry, got, look at it, so I shove it in my mouth. You just got your classic cinnamon bun from Cinnabon. Yes. Now, I think it's safe to say that as we go through these things, deciding what deserves and what does not deserve cinnamon, you can't have a cinnamon roll without cinnamon. There's just not another thing to have. A roll? No. <laughs> Not allowed. Oh, dude, that's so good. I love it. Do you like slowly peel away at it like you would? Oh yeah, I go around the outside all the way to the middle. Same. Middle's the most moist. Mmm. I haven't had one of these in so long. It's probably oh, been good. at least two years. This is basically an excuse to have dessert for breakfast. Yep. Let's be mm -hmm. honest. Mm -hmm. Cause I feel like I've only ever eaten cinnamon rolls for breakfast, but it's yeah. straight up a frosted little cake. It's a little cake for breakfast. I think you're right. I don't think I've ever had a cinnamon roll right? other than breakfast. Now here's the question. Cinnamon or no cinnamon? Well, of course cinnamon. Of course cinnamon. Of course. Cinnamon. Of course. Round two. two. I already don't like it. Mentos cinnamon flavor. Mm. Why is it always red? Now you said you already don't like it? Yes, I just assume I will hate it. Why? I have never been a fan of cinnamon flavored candies. What? I hate them. What? Don't like them whatsoever. Had I known this 15 years ago, you and I would not be friends. Cinnamon belongs on baked goods. Sir, you're about to have your whole world rocked. I... Maybe not here, maybe not with the Mentos, but I feel later on down the line you we'll will. We'll see, but I doubt it. Wow, these are not the... I mean, it makes sense that they're pink, but this is what, not what I was What is a expect. Mentos even? It's a Mentos. That's exactly what it That's is. That's what I'm talking about. Like, it's not necessarily a mint, but it's kind of minty. It's also kind of chewy, got a hard shell candy. Hmm. Underwhelming. See, but say you're out on your date. You're in the movie theater. You're planning to make a move on your date. Give her a little smoocheroo. What kind of candy would be better? I mean, maybe like a junior mint? Wintergreen lifesavers. Those are, what? Very yummy. Tic Tacs, orange flavored. That's not candy either. That's a mint. It's in the middle. You know you can eat that thing like candy. Yeah, but they're dumb. <laughs> they're so dumb. They're so, so dumb. The orange ones are the best. They're so dumb. These would be a perfect little treat. Gives your my mouth that little burning sensation. I don't exciting. understand how it gets spicy. Oh, it's spicy. <laughs> <laughs> 
On the vote, send a yes or send a no. Is it better than the original? Does it improve it at all? One, two, three. Send a no! I'm gonna send a no as well. That's right. Regular Mentos is delicious. I gotta say, I'm with you. The regular Mentos is very good. Even the fruity Mentos True. is really good. This is still good, but it doesn't improve on the original. And That's it just where I stand. Taste good. Round three. Ha ha! Another classic that some people find yummy. You don't like cinnamon berries? I don't. What is wrong with you? I'm about to give it another try because it's been a long time since I had one, but I remember last time I had it, I hated it. Who hurt you as a child? Cinnamon! Oh. Why is it always red? Cinnamon is not red. Is it not? I don't Maybe think so. Maybe it's because it's got that fire. It's like brown. Pan. There's a cinnamon bear. Now here's the thing. See, they put red number 40 in here. Cinnamon's not red. Cinnamon bears are good, but have you ever had chocolate dipped cinnamon bears? Yes. You have? Yes. And? I don't like them. <laughs> what? I don't like spin. cinnamon. Now these are tough because these things get stuck in your teeth. Oh yeah, they do. Did you bite its head off? Always, Everyone you goes. always Everyone go for the, for the kill. Head. I'm gonna go for the eye. Maybe Except for Thor, what? Thor didn't go for the head. You would have ended, that's because they needed a second movie. Mmm. <laughs> Mm, mm, mm. I love cinnamon. Doesn't even have a taste at first. It's like a gelatinous. What food. did you taste? What did you just say? <laughs> I don't like the feeling it leaves in my mouth. Okay, but that's just the kind of candy it is, right? Uh, I mean the the cinnamon doesn't help. Yeah. Okay. I mean you can get these like jelly gummy candies. They're like orange flavored and lemon flavored. You know what I mean? They all have that like gel texture to them. Yeah. I'm not a fan of it. It gets caught in your I'm, teeth. I'm not a fan of that texture. Mm. Is it better than the original? You get that weird spice. I don't understand how cinnamon is sometimes spicy and sometimes very sweet. I don't know who did that. Why is cinnamon candy always spicy? Why can't it be sweet? Cause it's, I think the spice itself is very spicy. Spicy. Gross. <laughs> spicy. Let's count three, one, two, three. Cinna, Cinna no! yes! No, gummy bears are way Cinna better. Cinna yes! I want fruity flavored gummy bears. Well, gummy bears are a bit different than these. These are like a gel. I want fruity flavored gel. All right, we're indifferent. Oh, so gross. Round four. All right, well, let's see Next here. on the list. A little squeezy. Apple cinnamon fruit on the go. Now I can honestly say I have the only apple cinnamon thing I've ever really had was like apple jacks. You remember those? Are you? I wanna swear right Why? now. Why? Are you kidding me? That's the only apple cinnamon thing you've ever had in your life. That I can think of in this video. Apple very pie? Moment. Had apple cinnamon? Then why do they call it apple pie? <laughs> why is the apple cinnamon it's pie? It's a pie with cinnamon and brown sugar. And, and mostly apples. Yeah, apples! <laughs> you said apples and cinnamon! Why is it apple cinnamon pie? It's just apple pie. What about an apple strudel? What's a strudel? I don't know. I feel like all these things have cinnamon in them. I'm not entirely sure. See, you don't even know! I don't even know. Oh, God. But I mean, like, you've never just had apple slices with cinnamon. Do you just, what do you, what? Yeah, you, you just, just cut like up an apple. Powder cinnamon on it? Yeah. Who does that? I do. Why? Cause it's delicious. <laughs> okay. You've never had apple cinnamon applesauce? I don't really eat applesauce to begin with. Never. I In your life, Mom? Uh, not that I can remember. I got it. Oh, dude, that explains so much about you. That explains nothing. <laughs> if you're gonna do applesauce, it's gotta be refrigerator cold. None of this room temperature crap. This isn't cold. I know, <laughs> that's what I'm saying. It's warm, that's the problem. Focus on the flavor. <laughs> it feels like somebody chewed up an apple for me <laughs> and just spit it in my mouth. I mean, in essence, yeah, that's what just happened. I mean, aside from the extra saliva and the chomping. Oh, gross. Oh, our kids drink this? <laughs> yeah, dude, they're so good. Oh, done. <laughs> oh, I get my daughter's obsession and I am gonna do her a favor and put them in the fridge from now on. Smart. I will say, on the count of three, how I feel about this having cinnamon. One, two, three. Cinna, yes! yes! I am only saying that, even though I don't like it. I'm saying yes because I like e applesauce even less. Mm. 
So it does give a little bit of nice little, little flair to it. Gotcha. All right, so if I gotta eat the regurgitated freaking birdie apples, I'd rather have that mm. birdie beet and cinnamon I too. I love cinnamon applesauce. Round five. All right, next on the list. What are those? This fancy little bag of Jolly Rancher cinnamon fire. Why is there fire associated with everything? Why is it red? Jolly Rancher. I love a nice little Jolly Rancher candy. They're Jolly so, Ranchers are good. I haven't so had them in a while. They're so delightful, man. I love the, what's your favorite flavor of Jolly Rancher though? Blue. Blue, really? You know me. Yeah. I like blue. But that's so boring. You got like cherry. Whatever, because the blue was not around forever. I feel like they appeared out of nowhere. No, they've been around. They were not original. They are. Too. There's no way. I've become a very big cherry fan. Now these, I gotta say, I'm not gonna finish this one. <clears throat> because. Because they suck. The flavor's not that great. Torn on that one because I really wanted to like it. That's a bummer. Verdict? That's a cinnamon. No! Cinnamon, no, get out of here, you suck. The flavor was off. It wasn't it makes, really cinnamony. It makes my mouth feel nauseous. The I rest of me's fine, I but my that. mouth feels nauseous. I can see that. Does that make sense? <laughs> Around six. six. Next on the list. Oh boy. Hot tamales. Hot tamales. These are not the kind of tamales I'm used to. Those are wrapped in corn husks. Now, I used to buy these just to eat them. Why else would you buy them? Well, I mean like, <laughs> as a candy, I would buy these. On purpose? Yeah, on purpose. I love I feel like I, I always, that's like a candy you would see in a movie theater. You know what I mean? Like. They're a good munchie like candy. Some, like, like milk duds and. Now here's a question. Junior Mints. People don't eat them in real life. They only eat them in movie theaters. These remind me of my childhood. Come number on. one, America, America's number one cinnamon candy. Dude, it is. 1000%. And here's why. Still red. In my childhood, red I remember candy. going to work with my mom at the hair salon. Like I didn't go to work there. I just went with her. He was a child laborer. He did the, <laughs> and the hair dryers. She used to have those little uh, the little quarter dispenser yes, candy things those were, in these her These were shop. always in there too. They were always in there and I always used to get them. I just loved them because they always had like trail mix and something else. The other thing, the third thing was never that good either. This was the best option. <sighs> mm. Oh, I got a wonky one. Look at that. Mmm. 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 See, now, I'm not even that big a fan of, like, Mike and Ike's. Oh, this one's spicy. They're all spicy. Why is this one way hotter than the rest of them? They're hot. I'm gonna choke. Oh, I hate it. Dude, I just ate, like, 12. Why is it so hot? Because you're a wuss. <laughs> no. I love these. This just tastes like a cinnamon bear with a hard shell. Oh, but it's so much better. It is better, I will. It doesn't get stuck I in your teeth. I will give it that. It's got a really nice cinnamon flavor. It is hot, but I enjoy the heat. I don't understand how cinnamon works. So what are we comparing these two? The only thing I can think of is like Mike and Ike's. They're the same shape, same consistency, same texture, but got fruity, a point. different flavors. Okay. Does it improve on the original? Cinna? Yeah! No! I love this. I will never choose cinnamon over any other flavor. <laughs> Round seven. Well, let's see if even cinnamon can improve the flavor of the flavorless rice cakes. Well, yeah. Apple cinnamon, that's true, because probably any anything can flavor rice cake. Dude, I love rice cakes. How do they make rice cakes? Do, you think, do they cook the rice first? Looks like a brain. Do you not see it? I mean, I do now. <laughs> oh, get in there. Binky. Now, here's the part that I love the most about these. Please never do that again. <laughs> yeah. Now listen to the crunch. Appley and cinnamony. Now why is this spicy? Because the cinnamon is extremely light. It's more apple than it is cinnamon. Let's be honest. Oh, yeah. What? <laughs> mm hmm. 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 You said not bad? Yeah. I understood you better with your mouth closed than full. <laughs> you like that? I do. Now, is it because it's majority apple? 
No. I feel like this is a cheat item because it does have more apple flavor than cinnamon flavor in my mind. No, because I told you, cinnamon, I think, belongs in baked goods. Is this considered a baked good to you? I mean, it's baked somehow. Is it? I mean, it's not candy. Well, I don't know, man. I give it a cine yes! That's a cine yes to you? Cine yes! A cine yes to me. Now, I don't know if there's an original flavor of a rice, rice cake? cake without cinnamon. You ever had just plain rice cakes? Never. They're terrible. <laughs> I suck. I'll take your word for it. <laughs> Round eight. Brown sugar and cinnamon pop tarts. A little tea for you. Yeah, because Cam doesn't drink tea. I don't drink tea. Not too hot. Burned my finger on a pop tart once. Ooh, look at that. Gail was a big fan of comboing the tea with the pop tart. So I'm gonna try her personal favorite. Oh, really? Yeah, that's what we're doing here. Well, that's not bad. For a tea, that's not bad. Tastes like cinnamon? The cinnamon flavor is really soft. All right, let's go. Mmm. Now this reminds me of all the late mornings I had running out the door to catch my bus. <laughs> <laughs> what a tasty little treat. Mm-hmm. The first four flavors of Pop-Tarts was strawberry, blueberry, apple currant, and brown sugar cinnamon. So, in essence, this is an OG, but is it better than the other three? Oh, that's hard. Say your votes in three, two, one. Cinna, yes! Ah! Oh, you like it more than the strawberry? I think by itself, I could eat this more than I could eat the strawberry one. Okay. Unless they're on top of ice cream. Yeah, no, them being on top of ice cream is a game changer, but that also makes me curious how good these would right? be on top of ice cream. Our consensus is yes. It is else. On it. Oh. As far as the tea, yes. Cinna, yes. It does. Oh. It complements that nicely. That's a great combo, and I'm actually able to drink this. He likes it. Round nine. You know what else goes with tea? What? Not these, because these are coffee cakes. Luckily, I got coffees. Cinnamon streusel coffee cakes. What's a streusel? Why are people just throwing out words? I will say I like the way this is looking. <laughs> now, did you ever have, this is what it reminds me of. Okay. Did you ever have the classic just toast with butter and then cinnamon sugar on it? Did I? Did you? That was my childhood. That if was my childhood. If I didn't have a Pop-Tart, that's what I had for breakfast. Cinnamon. Toast. I even had that combo on my oatmeal. Yep. You could even go a little wild and put it inside of a tortilla. Yep. Mm-hmm. Did all that. Cinnamon goes with some weird stuff. It does. Like butter. Who would have thought? Look at that. Look at that. Would you look at that? That is very cinnamon-like. All right. Hostess, I oh, haven't had these so good. probably in 20 plus years. Let's go. That's yummy. That's how I like my cinnamon. Nice and streuseled. I love the consistency of the bite. It like, mm -hmm. the bread. It's, like it's soft like a marshmallow, but it doesn't. Soft and moist. How would you describe that? I just did. But I mean like. Soft and moist. <laughs> but the way that it like. It's like pillowy. It's almost yeah. like, a, it's like a tempur -pedic. Yeah. It's like a tempur -pedic muffin. Streusel. It's German for memory foam. <laughs> <laughs> that definitely screams Cinda yes. yes! Cinda yes on that one. Yep, I don't care who you are. If you are a bun-like object, you will be better with cinnamon. Round 10. All right, next one. Eggo. With cinnamon syrup. Cinnamon syrup and cinnamon toast Eggo. This is a fancy A syrup. There are chunks, show them the chunks. Chunks of cinnamon all throughout that. Yeah, it's very good. If you're if you're wanting to check it out, there it is. Uh, there she is. Now here's what I like to do. You can use a fork if you want, but this is what I do with these. Look at how fun these are. Little tiny miniature toast. Oh, clever. I don't like to inhale. I like to enjoy my breakfast if I can. If a kid's not screaming at me. And I don't like soggy waffles or eggos or pancakes. So I always you don't like dip. It to absorb. And these are perfect because you can rip them. Look at little that little toast. Then you have a little tiny toast. A little tiny toast. Already got Get a little, little dunkaroo action going. 
<laughs> that is a winning combination. Mm -hmm. That literally takes that to the next level. I like that a lot. Mm. Did you That's just good. did you just find a new love? The cinnamon toast with the cinnamon is it cinnamon maple or just no? It's just cinnamon syrup. How does that make sense? I will give this a big ol' cinna yes. Yeah, that was Much fantastic. Better. If you can find this combo, this and that syrup. Man, that's really good. That's Much gotta, better than a regular ego. That is a sin of yes for me too. Mm -hmm. Final, Final round. round. All right. Oh boy, last but definitely not least. Cinnamon bun dough. Cinnamon bun dough. From oh. Ben and Jerry's. Dang, just the dough? Yeah, it's just the dough. Oh man, before we dive into this though, just a friendly reminder that we are on our Discord from yes. time to time. So if you guys wanna hang out with us or hang out with a lot of other cool people, you can always join us on Discord. We have a lot of fun over there. Meet so. some cool people. Oh. Now this looks like dog treats, not gonna lie. This does look like dog treats. Feels like it too. Yeah, it looks like you just went and took a little dog treat and threw it in the the freezer. Interesting. Hold up. Smells nice though. Okay, I wanted to make sure we weren't eating like actual dog treats. <laughs> yeah. Cinnamon flavored dog treats. Cheers. Hmm. Eh. Yeah, I feel like you need more than one to really kind of take it in. Oh, I got it there. I got it there. That's, so good. That's good. Is it better than the original? Cinnamon. No. Sorry, friends. That's... This is not better than just OG cookie dough. Yeah, that's not good at all, man. It does have that cinnamon bun flavor, which is exactly what they're going for. So they did nail it. If you're a big fan of the cinnamon bun flavoring, this like I'm talking huge because <laughs> these are just mad to me. And now I'm a uh, sugar crashing like crazy. I'm yep. on that. <sighs> Cliff. I'm just gonna, free falling. Uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what year is it? That is the most cinnamon I've ever had in one setting. And I can still say I hate cinnamon candy. <laughs> All right, thank you so much for tuning in. Huge, huge, huge thanks to Gail Shout. for this idea and for sending us that box. We really, truly appreciate it. Mm -hmm. If you would like to send us a box from wherever you're from or you have a unique idea, let us know, get in touch with us. We'd love to figure something out. We love doing food boxes. They're so much fun for us. And without, without further ado, ado, let's roll out the red carpet for you. Our members. Huge shout out. This is the first time we've ever done this. We're doing a video shout out to all of our members in the was up and above because they are our producers of the show. That's right. And I'm gonna give the starting lineup of Amanda Collin. Thank you. Thank you very much. Andy Park. Bjornar. I'm not gonna try and say your last name, but there you are. Chef MV. Well done. Thank you for the help. And Chris Comfort, a oh, long time yeah. supporter. Yeah. We love you so much. Don't forget about Clarissa Kelly. Emily Seiler. Haley Hansen. Helen Burl. Milton. Inga KD, thank you very much. Jade Victoria. Carrie Stabenow. Katie Forrest. Kylie Crouch. Lori Nichols. Laura Carson. Mermaid Sky Liness. Michelle Hopkins. Nicole Leonida. Leon mm. Leonida? Leonida, oh, Leonidas. Leonida? I'm going to Leonida because it like sounds it. strong. Randy Emdo. Sarah Egan. Shaylin Leverett. How do I always get the tough ones? <laughs> <laughs> Cillier Catherine. That's that's as far as I'm going. <laughs> Stephanie Scholar or Schaller. Tiff Canfield. And upside down Steph. Who also has been an extremely yes. long supporter of ours. Yes. Thank you so much. Seriously. Love you guys. That's the first time we've ever done a video shout out, but we really wanted to just pay homage to those who have supported us, especially as long as some of them have. Seriously, you guys, we wouldn't be here without you. We really appreciate each and every one of our members. We couldn't name all of them. There's literally like 300 plus. There's a lot of you. <laughs> so that would be like a whole episode in itself, but we hope you know that we appreciate each and every one of you. And even the ones that can't support us monetarily, just to you watching is more than we could ask for. So yes. thank you very much. Let us know what else you'd like to see us try down in the comments and we'll see you next time. Bye. Cinna, bye. Oh, Cinna, done. <laughs> Round. <laughs> Round. I thought you were waiting for a 10. You know, it's funny. We just got done saying how we've only ever had these for breakfast. Mm -hmm. And here we are. Not breakfast. Not breakfast time, folks.